Once upon a time, in the heart of the Korean peninsula, there lived a man whose actions would reverberate through history. Born to a modest farming family in 1912, Kim Il-sung grew up in a turbulent world, where conflict and revolution would mold him into a figure of immense power and darkness. As a young man, Kim Il-sung was swept up in the winds of change, joining the Communist Party and the anti-Japanese guerrilla movement. He fought in the shadows, battling for the liberation of his people, but even then, seeds of tyranny began to take root in his heart. The end of World War II marked the dawn of a new era. With Korea divided along the 38th parallel, Kim Il-sung ascended to power in the northern half of the peninsula. Fueled by dreams of a united Korea under his rule, he plunged the nation into war in 1950. The ensuing conflict left millions dead or displaced, ravaging the landscape and tearing families apart. In the war's aftermath, Kim Il-sung's grip on North Korea tightened. He crafted an image of himself as a godlike figure, a myth that pervaded every aspect of society. Portraits and statues adorned public spaces, while textbooks taught children that he was their eternal president and loving father. Yet behind this facade, darkness festered. Under Kim Il-sung's rule, North Korea became an isolated fortress, a land where fear and repression were the order of the day. The government's omnipresent eyes watched for any signs of dissent, with whispers of disloyalty met by swift and brutal punishment. Families were torn apart, with entire generations consigned to the horrors of labor camps where beatings, torture, and death were commonplace. Kim Il-sung's ambition for nuclear power led him to focus the nation's meager resources on developing atomic weapons at the expense of the population's well-being. His policies of self-reliance, known as Jush, were woefully inadequate, and North Korea spiraled into a devastating famine in the 1990s. As the people starved, their eternal president's statues stood unblemished, a testament to his callous disregard for their suffering. The North Korean people lived in a world of contradictions. They were told that they were the envy of the world, living in a socialist paradise, but their reality was a land of scarcity and hardship. They endured cold, hunger, and fear, while their leader basked in the adulation of a cult-like following, unyielding in his pursuit of power. Even as Kim Il-sung passed away in 1994, his legacy lived on through his son and grandson. They continued to rule North Korea with an iron fist, perpetuating the cycle of repression and suffering that had been their forebear's dark gift to the nation. As history enthusiasts, we must not shy away from the darker chapters of humanity's story. Kim Il-sung's life serves as a somber reminder of the perils of unchecked ambition and the unfathomable cruelty that can spring from the hearts of those who seek power at any cost. It is a cautionary tale that echoes through time, urging us to remain ever vigilant against the rise of tyranny, lest we forget the pain it brings.